When I was at dance, I could just be me and it was freeing and being able to express different emotions and different feelings. As a young girl, Lindsey Graham always saw herself as a dancer, but reaching her teenage years gave her a much different picture. I never really had the typical dancer's body. I was always a little bit on the heavier side. Of course, when I looked at myself in the mirror compared to the other girls, you just kind of judge yourself. You think, I don't look the part. That low self-image came despite encouragement from her parents, Rick and Dawn. They had raised her to follow Christ and taught her that her character matters more than her looks. Lindsay continued dancing in high school, but as she gained weight, she felt even more self-conscious. My junior year of high school, I was the heaviest that I've ever been. I started taking notice to how boys looked at me. There was a hunger for attention. Then at 17, she started losing weight. As her looks changed, so did her values. I was getting attention that I had never gotten before and I just liked it. My dress definitely changed. I started wearing things that were skimpier and showed a lot more skin. I wanted a guy to want me that way. That made me feel good about myself then. I kind of lost perspective of God. I was just more focused on things of the world than I was on Christ. Then she started dating a guy who wasn't a Christian and decided to sleep with him. I was in love. I thought we had a future together, and so I was more willing then to give myself up to him. As soon as that happened, everything just spiraled out of control. I stopped caring about God. I was just focused on what felt good at the time. After graduation, Lindsay went away to college and majored in dance. A couple of weeks later, her boyfriend broke up with her. I was depressed. I just pretty much gave up. I'm just gonna live however I wanna live and not answer to anyone. One of the biggest lies that I believed was that my only worth was in my sexuality and my body image. I was looking for somebody that would love me and, and want that long-term relationship with me. But it came with a consequence. It felt good in the moment, but the guilt and the shame that came with it, it was horrible. By her sophomore year, Lindsay had completely walked away from her relationship with God. She believed she was past the point of forgiveness. I knew my lifestyle was, was wrong. I felt too much shame to even cry out to Jesus at that point. I couldn't handle the pain of all of the guilt and the shame that I was feeling, and I just, I needed it to end. One afternoon, she decided to jump off the balcony of her 24th floor apartment. I went to open the sliding glass door, and it would only open about this much. Then I went and sat down in the bathtub. I was gonna cut my wrists. I don't even remember how I got out of the bathtub. It was Jesus just overcame me in that moment and pulled me out of that place. Um, and I just remember being on my knees on the bathroom floor, just crying out to God. I distinctly remember hearing the voice of God to say, I'm not finished with you yet. I just felt the Lord shower me with love and acceptance. And I just remember crying out to him and just surrendering my life over to him because I knew that I couldn't do it on my own anymore. God was the one that could fill that void of love and acceptance that I had been looking for. Later that year, Lindsay met John and they married in 2008. Now with three daughters, Lindsay also found another way to express herself. Because you're beautiful in God's eyes. Keep your head held high. She's a singer-songwriter sharing the hope she has in Christ.
Jesus allowed me to be comfortable with who I am as a person. Jesus just every day fills me with this confidence of I am a child of God. I am who you say I am and you are who you say you are.